Sammy the Hippie and the Man. John Updike's story, uh, A&P, is really a story about a hippie. The establishment, or the man, is defined as the existing power structure in society, the dominant groups in society and their customs or instructions, institutional authority. It's basically the government, the media, any, like, power. And the term was coined in the 1960s by the hippies. It was termed during... It was coined during a time of um, social unrest. There was a lot of issues, including the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, and the draft. And the establishment was representative of the powerful people and organizations that were the cause of these issues. The A&P in John Updike's story represents the establishment. Um, it's a large organization. It's got a lot of consumerism going on. All the people that go there are conforming. And these ideas were rejected by the counterculture and the hippies during the 1960s. And um, the Encyclopedia Britannica also states that hippies would rather participate in communal living situations and trade goods and other things rather than purchase them. When the girls enter the store, they're like completely different than all the other customers that come in there. Sammy describes the normal customers at the A&P as women with six children and varicose veins mapping their legs. And the girls are the complete opposite of the normal customers that come in there and therefore they represent the opposite of the establishment. And even the way they're dressed is a, a clue that they're representing the hippies because they're, like, hardly wearing anything and the hippies, you know, favored unconventional dress. When Langle comes and confronts the girls, this is kind of, you know, representative of the fight between the establishment and the counterculture in the 1960s. And as a result of this argument, Sammy quits and realizes that he actually sides with the girls and that he is part of the counterculture. And that's pretty much it.